Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Bhushan. In this video, we are going to deploy the Spring Boot application to the production server. If you are following my YouTube channel, then you probably know that I have already deployed the Spring Boot application to Heroku and AWS. And in this video, we are going to deploy it to another cloud hosting provider, which is railway.app. So first of all, thanks to a fellow YouTuber, Shiva, one of his LinkedIn posts, he talked about this website. I explored it. I also tried uh, deploying the Spring Boot application previously, and it works uh, uh, exactly what I was expected. And in this video, I will show you how you can deploy your application to this uh, cloud hosting provider. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to create an account inside this railway.app. Once you create the account, you will under the starter plan, you will get uh, $5 bucks. Also, you will get 500 hours execution time. This is enough for your hobby project. And once you created this, all you need to do is you need to create a new project. Before that, let's quickly create a spring uh, project. So let's go to the STS and let's create a new project. I'm going to click next. I will just add the web dependency and click finish. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a Spring Boot project and we're going to push it to the GitHub repository. From the GitHub, we're going to deploy it to railway.app. So let's expand this under the main package. Let's create a new class. I'm going to call this home controller. Uh, let's quickly add the controllers, the rest controller annotation, public string, get status. This will be a get request, get mapping. So I'm going to add an array of URLs or URIs slash slash home slash status. Inside this, we are going to return a static text that is application is up and running. Save this. So now let's go to the main class. Just right click, run as Spring Boot application. And let's go to the browser and go to localhost 8080. Hit enter. You will see the message application is wrap up and running. So now Let's push this to the GitHub repository. From the GitHub, we will deploy it to railway.app. So let's go to the postman, not the postman. Let's go to the STS, stop the Tomcat server. And what I'll do is I'll just go to the terminal and let's go inside root of the project, CD slash demo and git init. I'm going to initialize the git, git add dot it is going to add all the files to the staging area and git commit let's add the commit message this is an initial commit let's quickly create a repository under the github let's go to our github click new i'm gonna call this spring boot demo which is available make this as a public click create repository once you created the repository, you can copy this remote URL. So let's copy this remote URL and go back to our terminal, paste it, hit enter, git push origin master. So it will push all the files to the GitHub repository. We can just refresh this and we can see the source code which is present inside our repository. Now let's go back to our railway.app click on this start new project i'm gonna click on this empty project you can also choose from the github repository i'm gonna just click on this empty project and you can see a project has been created so under the project you can create a multiple service as you can see add a service so anywhere in this you can just click on this and click on this empty service just click on this empty service it will create a new empty service and you can see uh, this is the name of your service second minus TOE. It will randomly take the uh, names. So click on this and you can see there is there are no deployments and also there are no variables. There are no metrics. Let's go to the settings 
and under this environment you will see the domains so here just click on this generate domain so we're going to generate the domain the random domain under this domain we're going to deploy our spring boot application so if you scroll down you will see this service section under this service name you will you will see the service name and under this service source you will see the uh, option connected to github repository just click on this and you can find your repository i'm going to search for spring boot demo which we have pushed into our uh, github repository click on this and it will start deploying it and you will see this initializing and it will start building for the first time it will take a couple of minutes to deploy your application so just wait for some time i'm going to close this and you can just click on this and now inside the deployments you will see the option building you can click on this to see the view logs as well just wait for a couple of uh, minutes you can see it has been deployed and you can go to this view logs to see the logs click on this and inside this build logs you will see the logs for the uh, build logs and you will see the publishing the image successfully built and you can see the build success all the logs you can see here and you can go to this deploy logs you will see the the tomcat has started you will see the logs in just couple of uh, seconds just wait for it right now if you click on this you will see uh, the application is up and running you can see and also if you go to this here you will see the logs so just wait for a couple of minutes and you will see the logs you can see the spring boot has been started and it is running on the port 5932 and if you go to this url okay you will see this application is up and running so this is how you can deploy the spring boot application to the production server and in case if you want to add any of the uh, variables like the environment variables you can go to this environment uh, variable section and you can click on this new variable and you can just click on this raw editor and you can add your environment variables let's say server.port or if you have any databases uh, configurations you can add it here all right so in this video we discussed how to deploy the spring boot application to the production server in the next video we are going to see how we can connect this spring boot application to the mysql database i will see you in the next video